Hi guys, welcome to Guru Beauty. I'm Jodi, it's lovely to see you again. Wanted to share another holiday 2011 uh, beauty gift set with you today. And this one today is from Elizabeth Arden. It's their Beauty Treasures gift set. And you can get this in Australia for $99. I did find this in Maya. I'm sure you can probably get it at David Jones. It represents great value. I'll go through all the contents of the kit with you. One of the nice things about this is that that price does not um, it's not with a purchase of something else uh, as you'll see with other products that I'll post videos about you know like the Estee Lauder gift set for 120 they do say that that is um, available with any other perfume purchase from Estee Lauder so this you can just go to the counter and buy outright $99 this is what it'll get you uh, I have seen it online I think at Macy's not currently available I'm not sure if that's because it's sold out or not available yet but for 45 US dollars I have found it on various websites such as uh, dealmoon.com for $45 and also feelunique.com for £45 with free delivery worldwide so if you like what you see here you can get this uh, available at various uh, locations so basically the gift set comes in a lovely sort of um, animal print you know crocodile print type red color beauty case it does have a handle lovely gold finishes here um, and the zip the double zip the lining on the inside is a silky sort of uh, leopard print so I'll start with the brushes really cute little um, coordinating uh, little brush clutch here it does have a stud button and uh, that same matching liner inside so it comes with three brushes and they do actually come you know covered in plastic so they're not gonna you know get frayed in the packaging it comes with a standard sort of uh, shadow fluff brush for you know packing on colors you could do uh, crease and under the eyes with that you'll see how I use that in the tutorial coming up and then also an angled shadow fluff brush or a chisel brush depending on who you talk to and then also a synthetic type blush brush one of the things I don't like about this is when you close it so if you were to pack it um, there's no top and bottom and you can see if I hold it that way that is the right way up but if I pull this out of my bag next thing in there is a makeup remover the Elizabeth Arden all gone eye and lip makeup remover I'm not opening that yet just because I do have makeup remover and um, I don't need another one on the go it looks a little bit like the Lancome um, by Facil I have not used this so I can't give you a review but you can see the distinct two layers of like maybe an oil and a water so I dare say that that's probably quite good for waterproof comes with three pencils in the set one of them being a lip pencil I'll get to the other pencils in a second so the lip pencil is in the color taupe uh, I don't really have experience with Elizabeth Arden makeup so I don't know uh, you know how long they last that kind of thing but about taupe this is it swatched here you can see there it is a you know a beautiful neutral sort of um, mid-tone color that would go with so many different lip colors it's it's definitely my favorite sort of lip color lip liner pencil I don't think you can go wrong if you're going to put one lip pencil into a makeup kit this is a beautiful color it's very creamy I will say that just applying um, during the tutorial I'm wearing that now underneath that one of the lip glosses so I think they did really well choosing that lip color Onto the lipsticks, the set comes with three lipsticks like this. I think they're full size lipsticks and uh, it's definitely a variety of colors. The first color I'll show you is in the color Petal. That is the color Petal there. It's a vibrant, bright pink color, as you can see by the swatch. The next color I'll show you is in the color Cinnamon, sort of frosty, peachy, bronzy, definitely a neutral sort of cinnamony color. I like that one and then the third color is in the color is it Cassis or Cassie I'm not sure C-A-S-S-I-S -S -S. and that is in a deeper more plum type pinky red color so I think definitely across those lip colors there is something for everyone it would certainly cover a lot of different looks for me also the set comes with two lip glosses they call them the high shine lip glosses this is the color that I'm wearing over the taupe lip pencil right now and it's just a beautiful 
sparkly clear type lip gloss with those glitters in it. This is in the colour Sparkle. I can see Sparkle there it does certainly have some glitters in that clear lip gloss um, but I really don't mind um, glitter. I don't think it's too bad even for you know someone like me in their mid-30s. So this colour here is in golden red. It's a lovely light red which would be quite nice with this look too actually. I think that would probably be quite a sort of nice more classic type look with the darker eyes and uh, that beautiful red. That is all for the lip colours there. So again, I think just a really nice selection of colours. You could just do so much with all of those. This kit also comes with a mascara. It's the Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Lash Extending Treatment Mascara. And uh, that sounds like something I could do with actually. I just have so many mascaras on the go that I did not want to open this one until I finished some of the others that I have going right now. The kit does come with also two eyeliner pencils, which I think is awesome. It gives you the versatility, depending on who you're buying this for, to really go for different looks. If they prefer a brown, the color, the brown color is in the color Espresso. That is quite a dark brown there. Uh, and just like the lip pencil, these colors are very, very creamy. Uh, and then it comes in the color black as well, which they call smoky black. You can see the black next to the brown. So I really like that they've covered both bases there with the brown and the black. I think today I am wearing the brown. Yeah, the brown from memory. So you can see it still comes out quite dark. I've got the brown in the waterline, just under my lower lash and, you know, tight line and above my lash line. These go on very, very creamy. They're very blendable, sort of um, almost sort of similar to the Stila Kajal pencil, I would say. They definitely are blendable and you can definitely smoke them out. So they're beautiful. Don't know how long lasting they are on the waterline though. That for me is a pretty big test for an eyeliner, but if you're after a blendy, smoky type, um, creamy pencil, like the Stila Kajal, I would say it's probably more down that route than more of like a waterproof, um, you know, tight liner pencil. And another thing it came with is shimmer powders. This is called their um, four shimmer powders. Uh, and you can see the four colors there. I will swatch those on my hand for you. You can see it comes with a little powder puff, so I think that that probably um, is for applying it to your face. I probably would not use a powder puff to apply shimmers to, to my face. So they do have a little selector here that you would turn across to the different shades depending on which one you would want. The only drawback of that is that you, if you do shake it into the lid of your product and you have any left over, you'd obviously get those colors mixed up, but that's not too much of a problem. One of the things I will say as well is that you can turn the selector to, you know, halfway between two of the colors. So if you're traveling, you don't have to have it turned to a color where it's going to be leaking out all over um, the product. So I've just swatched the four shimmer powders here on my inner wrist. We've got the gold, we've got more of the pinky one, the more sort of um, beigey color, more pearl sort of shimmer, and then the bronzy shimmer. I applied, I think, the gold to my, as a highlight today on my face, and the more beigey color just on my inner corner on the eyes. And I would say it's not an, a, a really, really glitterable shimmer um, when I applied it to my eyes. It is a bit glittery when you apply it as a highlighter to your face, but I think if you're, you know, if you allow for that, obviously I sort of um, was thinking holidays, it's a holiday gift set. If you're wearing it during like a festive season or a tour party, I think, you know, like you would a shimmer part powder, I think they're beautiful. It's a really, again, a really nice little set, a nice little compact quad of shimmer powders that would be great for travel and just really easy just to select what color you wanted. I have not used the bronze yet, but I think that would be quite pretty as a lid color as well on the eye. So quite a bit of versatility there. And of course you could use the shimmer powder as well on your lips. So lastly, I will get to the eyeshadow palette. Everything does come sort of wrapped in tissue paper and, you know, quite presentable inside the um, case that it comes with. Um, and I didn't notice during the tutorial, but all the colors here are listed on the back. The um, closure here is like a stud button, a snap button that you open. It's a nice sort of um, cushioned gold palette which would be nice to be packing in your case obviously that provides a bit of insulation and when you open the palette you can see there is a nice size mirror there for the eyeshadow palette and then we have two blushes 
a deeper sort of plummy and this is more of like a coral and then all these eyeshadows. I'll just swatch them on my hand and be right back. Okay, firstly, here are the two blush colors. We have the color Sandberry here and Sunny Pink here. And you can see that, you know, that does give you quite a bit of variety. We've got a nice sort of um, more of a bright coral color there in the Sunny Pink and something more of a you know, plummy pink there in the sandberry, more of a berry color. It's the sandberry that I had quite light on my cheeks today. I think it's a pretty color. Okay, and I'm not sure how attractive of a swatch set this is, but here are the, what is it, 12 colors here. It's quite a nice variety of light shimmers. We've got, you know, purple, pink, and sort of beigey type frost finished colors. We've got some definite dark colors, for some bright, you know, a nice plummy color, a nice bright blue color for something a little bit more fun. Um, what else have we got? This actual brown is a beautiful mushroomy taupey color that I would really like sort of all over the lid if you like your taupes different shades of brown. I really like these colors. I thought that they were really easy to work with in the tutorial using the brushes that came in the set. Uh, and um, that is what I'm wearing on my eye today. So uh, I really liked those colors. So that is everything that is in the kit. I think it represents great value. I think it's a really nice kit if you're looking at buying a kit for someone. Hope that you enjoyed this little uh, swatch fest and tutorial is coming up to follow just to show you how I used some of these products to help you decide if this is something that you might enjoy or also just to give you inspiration for a you know holiday look or a look that you might be able to use anytime soon. So I hope that you enjoyed watching and if you do get this kit or if you have any other uh, holiday kits that you have bought that you'd like to share with me I would love to hear about it hope you enjoy the tutorial to come okay so I'll start by brightening my uh, inner corner with the NYX jumbo eyeshadow pencil in milk just blending it out with your finger And next I'm going to start with this color from the palette, the second one in. I'm going to apply that all over the lid and I'm using the um, shader brush that comes with the set too. I would like to have seen just a slightly lighter, you know, inner corner shadow. This would do in a pinch, but it's not quite as brightening as I would have liked for the most bright light shade of the palette. Next I'm going to be using a Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush, an E45, and I'm going to be going in with this colour. This is a more sort of brownie, um, you know, chocolatey, really brownie type colour. Just tapping the edge on that. And I'm just going to apply that above the crease. This is going to sort of help to give us that contour, that blended in look by the end. Using the windshield wiper motions. And finally, I'm going to use, this came with the kit as well, the angled shadow fluff brush there. Uh, and I'm going to be using this color here on the end. It's the darkest color from the palette. I'm going to just be tapping the edge of this angled shadow brush in to the shadow, tapping off the excess and then going into the outer V. I'm going to try and come quite a bit in using this shadow. And then of course, following the contour as well. Bring it up over the crease to try and help give that lifted appearance. And I'm just keeping that dark color really to the very outer corner of the eye. Now that I've applied the majority of the uh, dark color, I'm just going to go back in with the original brush that we applied that first sort of crease color with and just make sure that, you know, it looks like it's fairly seamlessly blended. Not much blending because I don't want to spread that dark color around. Just want to make sure this, you know, it all looks pretty seamless. And this palette comes with two eyeliner pencils, a black and a brown. Today I'll be going in with the brown. This is, um, so the eye pencil in espresso. And I'm going to be lining really my entire eye with this. We're going for a bit of a, you know, dramatic, neutral colored, but dramatic look. So I sort of always start in the same place. We are gonna blend this out with some shadow, so I'm not worried about it having to be too exact. 
I'm going right into my inner corner with that and making the line a little bit thicker there on the outside. These pencils are quite creamy. Again, right into the inner corner. Making sure I'm between the lashes and also at the same time doing my waterline. You'll see how long these pencils last. And right in between my lashes on the top lash line too. Now I'm going in with a sort of more of a pencil brush. This is a Paula's Choice Precision Shadow Brush. And I'm going to be blending out the uh, top with um, some of each of these two shadows that I used before. So I'm going to start uh, just tapping the pencil brush into that first colour I used for the crease. Make sure I'm tapping it off. And just lightly going over the um, pencil line that we've drawn to sort of smudge it out. And then going into that dark shade and really making sure that it's nice and dark on the outer corner. Okay, with the top lash line done, I'm going to do a little bit more um, blending out there on the underneath the lash line. I'm going to go in with this colour here on the edge of the palette, again using that same pencil brush. This is the Paula's Choice one. Um, this is just a little bit more plummy, I think, than the other colours that we've been using. And I'm just going to basically blend out that whole, the whole length of that um, pencil liner that we put down with this colour. And I haven't used these before, but this came in the palette. This is what they call their shimmer powder, shimmer and bronze. So I think this is for the face. I'm going to use this um, sort of neutral, neutrally pinky beigey shade. I'm going to tap some out onto the lid here and go back in with that original eyeshadow brush from the kit. Tap it into the powder, tap it off. And just here on the very inner corner of the eye, since we want to just keep that nice and bright, tap that shimmer powder around a bit. I also really like applying some uh, shimmer right under the center of my um, lower lash line. I think that helps just brighten my eye up a little bit. And then I'm going to apply some mascara. Today I am using up my Rimmel 123 Lux Mascara. Okay, so I've applied my mascara. I have defined my brows with Max Omega eyeshadow. I have also done my under eye concealer and used Laura Mercier uh, loose setting powder to set the foundation. I'm now going in with a brush to this blush colour here in the palette and I've only just realised that we do have the names of the shades on the back of the packaging so I will say that this shade blush is in Sandberry. Um, I think these blushes are quite uh, pigmented so I'm just going in with a loose fluffy bl brush just very lightly tapping it in and just applying it very lightly tap tap tap. I think because you know the eye look is quite strong I don't think we need a whole lot of um, blush here. Just a little bit of colour. Going back to these shimmer powders, I'm just going to go in with a bit of this gold colour here. And I'm just going to use that same blush brush, tapping it into the shimmer powder, tapping it off so we don't get too much shimmer. And lastly onto the lips, I'll be using the one lip pencil that comes in the kit. This is in the colour taupe.
Okay, so I've applied the lip liner in taupe all over my lips and I'm going to be going in with the High Shine Lip Gloss in the colour Sparkle. That's just a nice close-up of it. Just a nice glittery gold, beautiful sparkle. I think we want to keep the lips, you know, not too colourful really with this eye look. And here I am back with the finished look, hair and all. I will say that I am very impressed with this kit from Elizabeth Arden. I don't really have experience with Elizabeth Arden Cosmetics, uh, but I think that kit represents great value if you are looking for a gift for someone who's either just getting started in makeup and could do with a bit of a colour selection and a bit of everything. You've got lip product, mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadow, you've got a makeup remover. I really like that you've got a lip liner, you've got lip glosses to choose from as well as lipsticks. Um, I think it's a really great gift, so we thoroughly recommend it. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and um, that you're getting ready with your holiday looks. If you have anything to share, I would love to see it down below in the comments. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye.